Now, how are we to understand the kingdom? You know, I was a lawyer and, you know, we lawyers like to look for definitions. So I went to the Bible looking for a definition of the kingdom, uh, but I couldn't find it. I, I found there was no definition of kingdom, of gospel, of church, uh, or anything like that. Instead, I found that Jesus kept saying, the kingdom of God is like, the kingdom of God is like. Uh, so I began to, after a while, realize that, you know, the kingdom is like a picture uh, that is made out of many pieces. And it's like a jigsaw puzzle that uh, needs to be put together with the help of the Holy Spirit, of course. All right. So let me just write that down. First thing, uh, no definition. All right. Second thing, it's a picture. like a jigsaw puzzle. Third thing is this. Why did Jesus say, unless we become like little children, we cannot enter the kingdom? And then he also said, the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of God are hidden from the wise and learned and revealed only to little children. I mean, think about it. God purposely hides his secrets from those who are wise and learned. And what does it mean to become like little children? Why do we have to become like little children in order for us to be able to appreciate, to understand the kingdom? Uh, when I asked the Lord about this, uh, th this is the understanding that, that came to me. You see, in the Garden of Eden, Man walked with God, right? So Adam could see God, he could hear God, he could talk with God. And think about it, Adam started at, uh, at zero. He didn't know what is grass, what is the sky, what is the sun, you know, what is, what is life? He didn't know what is everything. He had to ask God. But what happened when man was kicked out of the Garden of Eden? You can't see God. Like right now, where, where's God? You can't see Him, you can't hear Him. So what did man do? Man had to start figuring everything out for himself. So man figured out what is, what is life all about. What is marriage? What is work? What is family? What is business? What is money? What is pleasure? He figured everything out for himself. So why did Jesus say that we need to become like little children? I believe it's, it's like this. You know, we need to uh, start from zero. We need to unlearn so many things that we have learned, all the, all the ideas that we have uh, you know, formed in our own minds. And it is upon these ideas that all the, that this whole world is the way it is. And this whole world, Jesus said, is opposed to the kingdom of God. The kingdoms of this world are opposed to the kingdom of God. And so imagine if, you know, I use the whiteboard a lot. A lot and, and imagine if this whole whiteboard is full of writing. And if God wants to write something on it, we have to erase and make some space for him to write in something. But even if he, I, I do that, you know, he writes in, it's in the midst of all the other stuff that's on the whiteboard, you know. So it's like, you know, if you have lived 36 years of your life, I'm sorry to say this, but you've got 36 years of junk to get rid of. You know, so why do we need to become like little children? I believe God is asking us to give him a, a fresh start, give him a clean slate, as it were. You know? So we need to unlearn. And then we need to come to God with the heart of a child.
That's what it takes. And the last thing, uh, you know, in Matthew 13, Jesus said that the kingdom of God is like a man who found treasure buried in a field. What did he do? He put the treasure back, buried it, and he went home and he sold everything in order to buy that field. He gave up everything in order to acquire it. And then he said, the kingdom of God is like a pearl merchant who found that one pearl that ends all pearls. You know, he's a pearl merchant, right? He's got a whole collection of his own pearls that are precious and valuable to him, that he's collected over the years, probably. But he goes home, he looks at all his pearls, and he realizes this one pearl, this one pearl, I must have it. All my pearls are nothing in comparison to this one pearl. And so he gives up everything. He sells it all in order to be able to have that one pearl. That's what the kingdom of God is. We have to give up everything in order to be able to have it. Think about this as we go through all this uh, whole series as we talk about the kingdom.